Good morning. I don't think that we can start a vlog without it being in the car. Or just vlog at all, like period. It has to be in the car apparently. It's a little crooked. My um, little phone holder thingy-majig uh, broke. Like it won't squeeze the phone anymore. So that's unfortunate, but here we are. I think I put in my last vlog about like getting like my lips done. Um, I don't know if you can, I can kind of see a difference. Like it just like sticks out a little bit more. I love it. Um, it doesn't feel as weird as it did. Like it was feeling really weird. Like I couldn't do anything. Um, it still is kind of hard to drink out of like a straw and stuff. <laughs> um, I'm running to get breakfast really quick for me and my dad because he's sick and I might go to the store. Um, today is <clears throat> what's today? Wednesday. Um, so now we've had our peds exam and our adult health exam. Got my adult health grades back yesterday. I got 88. Very happy about it. I could tell I definitely didn't get like a 90 on that or anything, which usually I can't tell when I do, but I like could count a lot more questions that I got wrong. So I was like, there's no way that I would have gotten that grade, but I am really happy with a high 80. Um, I just wanted to pass, like <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, and then I had a 12 hour piece clinical yesterday, which was so long, but guys, I had the cutest four year old patient yesterday. He had to get his appendix taken out and he was doing so well like he definitely like by the end of the day he was just so sick of it and he was like I just want to eat real food because he couldn't have like a solid diet yet um we were just waiting on like his body to like work a little bit more his bowel sounds were back though so that was good and he wanted to get up and walk around and he's so cute I cannot he was walking around and my friend Sydney was like I love your shoes and he got like little crocs on and he didn't say anything and his mom was like what do you say and he literally goes great <laughs> like, your mood ah oh, I want to take him home anyway he was um just kind of like he was really in a good mood in the morning but the more the day went on he was just sick of it so um he wanted a stuffed animal but we were like picked out like, not then hi I hope everybody's having a grand day I just got out of clinical thankfully it wasn't there too long I we got here at three o'clock thankfully um, sorry, my nose is just so bad. Mm, mask problems. Um, I just had a pediatrics clinical today. I had the same patient that I had yesterday. I don't know if I already told you guys. Um, I was here for 12 hours yesterday. Oh my God, such a long day. It was not busy enough for that. Uh, so we just like kind of studied and like multitasked a little bit. But my patient yesterday was four years old and he had an appendectomy and he was just the cutest little thing like sydney my friend she was like complimenting his shoes she's like your shoes are so cool and he, his mom was like what do you say and he just goes he looks up at her and he's like great <laughs> and that's what he said he was so cute and yeah i think he's going home today though i hope if not tomorrow but he did spike a fever today unfortunately so he's a little fussy not having it and then I also had a failure to thrive baby today. She's like a month old. And if you don't know, that just means that they're basically not meeting their weight requirements. So that like below the fifth percentile. So she was like super skinny, but honestly, like from yesterday to, the, to today, she's already gained weight. Like you can already see it. And she's just a precious little thing. Um, but yeah, yesterday you can like see all her ribs and like she's all wrinkly and not in like the chubby way and just like wrinkles she was so cute though um but yeah today was a good day just about to head home and do a quizlet for study purposes um i work tomorrow morning and then i'm just gonna have a chill night tomorrow night i think i have been trying to do my hair natural and i actually think that i really like it like i did the bowl method today if anybody's seen that on tiktok it's like where you flip your hair over and like soak it in water like after you get out of the shower and like put a product in and like re-dip it in and just like slowly scrunch it up and I'm actually really loving it like it's nice and 
just like wavy, you know? And it's actually not as frizzy as I thought it was gonna be. Plus I just put it up in a clip for like a while, but yes. And I got a new water bottle. Look how cute. It's a hydro jug if you haven't seen these before. I remember seeing these on, her name is Holly something on YouTube and she has had one of these for like ever and she's a nurse and it says keep showing up on it and it's just so cute. It's like a certain edition, but I actually was, I was thinking about it today cause I almost finished the entire thing already. And I was like, how many of these do you need? Like two a day? And I looked it up and actually no, like I need this plus like another 20 ounces a day. So to like, probably like the max dose or whatever of water, max dose. I mean, hey, I guess you could say fluids or medication too. Yeehaw! <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm letting my car air out because it's kind of warm. Um, oh yeah, and I got this new thing I saw on TikTok. It was a Pete's nurse and she works third. So she was like, I didn't want to like turn the lights on to check on my patients. So I just used this little flashlight thing. It's actually pretty bright, like decently bright. Um, but he's so cute. I need to give him a name. But I think it's very on brand of me because you guys know I have my little um, squirt on my steering wheel at all times. I don't think I'm ever going to take him off, but yes. And my instructor today, she was like, I think you would fit in so well in Pete's. And I was like, that means so much. I just feel like I started nursing school being like, I have no idea what I want. And I still am so open to basically anything. Like if I don't start out in Pete's, I won't be like heartbroken but I do love it. And so I'm glad that I found something that I do feel like I kind of belong there, if that makes any sense. But there's still so much to see, I feel like. And I'm definitely open to doing a preceptorship that isn't in Pete's. Um, but at the same time, like there's only so many spots and thankfully we don't have like a whole lot of students. So when we get like in my cohort, so when we get to that point, hopefully nobody's gonna be like fighting for spots or anything, but. It was a pretty good day though. It's kind of gloomy outside. Um, I'm just gonna go home and like work on this Quizlet and I'm probably gonna read a little bit. Oh, that makes me so happy. I can't wait to read. Okay. I'm gonna go home now so that I can eat something and do all my stuff. But I just wanna give you guys a little update. This is vlog, oh my gosh, number something. I don't even know. At some point I'm gonna have to stop counting anyway, but this is like our, fourth or fifth week of class I don't know but I think I was saying earlier oh my gosh I just I need to stop talking because I can't remember if I've already said this honestly we'll just keep it in and I'll delete the other one sorry I just I talk too much and I'm trying not to edit like so much stuff out because it's like a 30 minute video because nobody wants to watch me talk for 30 minutes um but we took our first peds exam and our first adult health exam and I passed both. Um, I got a 92 on the peds and an 88 on the adult health. So we're starting out strong. I'm proud. So excited. Um, yeah. So the rest this week, basically I had class Monday. Then I didn't really get any footage. I had clinical yesterday. It was 12 hours. Didn't get any footage. Today I had a clinical. I did film some today cause I was, I like reorganized my entire dresser this morning and then I also filmed the what's in my clinical bag which I'm going to post like today I think so definitely go check that video out especially by the time you see this one um what else oh tomorrow I work and then I'm just having a chill night and then Friday I have another 12 hour clinical and then I'm studying Saturday and Sunday so I'll try to get as much finished for you guys as I can. I'm gonna try to take you guys along with me through clinical on Friday a little bit. Um, get what I can though, cause it's kind of hard to film that clinical but I'll try to like keep you guys updated with my day. Just be like, this is what I'm doing now. And all that, so yes, I will talk to you guys later. Good morning again. This is like our favorite spot right here. Like we might as well just be a car vlog, you know what I mean? Um, I have to put you guys on this. So get a venti iced brown sugar shake espresso with oat milk. And what I do is I add hazelnut, however many pumps like usually comes in it. And then 
sweet cream cold foam usually extra to be honest yeah and it hits like pretty good um it tastes better when you mix it up in my opinion sometimes the instead of putting the foam on top they'll like mix it in which is like whatever but um it's so so good but if you don't like sweet coffee like like it's sweet for sure so if you don't want it super sweet just don't you could either just get the brown sugar one or just don't get brown sugar and just get hazelnut shaken espresso or just don't get cold from, I don't know you can do whatever you want oh it takes my breath away I love it I love it um I look extremely tired I think I've been like fighting off some kind of sickness because my dad is getting sick and I felt really sick at clinical the other day and then yesterday I felt fine and now today I'm feeling sick again and I got like sleep but my head hurt it's like my head's hurting here I don't ever get forehead headaches like I'm not really in that much pain but it's like my eyes like you can look at me and I look like not okay right now <laughs> so I'm just gonna have to take some Advil and push through today but I'm going to work and then I need to get this Quizlet done. Oh my gosh. I'm just like really struggling out here. So I need to get that done right now. So I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to go try to make some money. And hopefully this day goes by very quickly. <laughs> Active, I think. Uh, <laughs> He's kind of bright. <laughs> Dude, I think it is bright. It is bright. I'm like, my eyes are watering. Oh, this dude does have a DBT. I'm avoiding doing my care plan. All my patients are chill today. Most of them are just constipated, to be honest. Or they have a GI bleed. <laughs> I got one with Crohn's. Really? You know what oh, Crohn's is? no, not the Crohn's. So they have a steatorrhea. <laughs> so yeah, that's what it is. Oh god, I think one of my patients has that too. I went to the, went to the cath lab today. I got to see a a vas cath, temporary vas cath. What is that for? They went in through his jugular. They so went cute. for dialysis. Dialysis and it had three ports. One for the nurse, one for dialysis, and then uh, something else, I don't know. Oh. Pretty cool, though. I took my patient to dialysis. Mm, yeah, that was it. Honestly, probably should have stayed. I don't know what dialysis is like. Probably boring, though. Oh, yeah, they just sit there for like four hours. Yeah. You should not have stayed there. I didn't. <laughs> I was saying, that would have been a terrible well, thing. I just didn't know like how it works, like what they do. I just set it up or whatever. <laughs> she does not care. She's pretty cool. How's was your nurse? Hmm? Oh! Wow. Ah, whoa! I'm really avoiding doing my care plan right now. I don't want to do it. But I need to finish it. So is this like a talking video or is this like a... Just 
play it without sound. Both. <laughs> Word. I think we would just put it in because it's kind of. <sighs> okay, that's old. All right, guys. Um, one plus about today. I haven't wiped a single ass. Not one. It's new. It's a new occasion, to be honest. I'm sure you do that all the time at work. That's like all you do. Every day, off the floor, in the shower, shit everywhere. Mm-hmm. Sorry, guys. I really need to work there because I need experience. Yeah, did you just apply? Uh, I have to put my resume on there, but yeah, I started it. You heard it here first. She's going to work in the hospital now. Hopefully. What, flip pool? I think she needs... <laughs> it didn't say. It just said nurse extern. Come up on 11. <laughs> Jessica, have you worked with Jessica oh, yet? Oh, yeah, I have. <laughs> oh, I love it. I, I feel like, like she needs it. It was like her second day. She definitely needs the experience. I'm going to meet you at 5. I have no room to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I feel good now about everything. What was I just on? Images. A Venus Doppler study. I don't even know what a Venus Doppler study is. Um, it's where they take an ultrasound and they look at your blood flow. You know what? I think I, I probably could have guessed that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like they take the ultrasound and they put it on a Doppler setting so it's like noise. <gasps> a baby. Baby was born. It actually was born like probably an hour or two ago. <laughs> if not more than that. But they don't like do the little music until they're like going to postpartum. Fun fact. Until they're safe. Yes. If you hear that, yeah. they weren't just born. I thought that meant they were just born. It's yeah, not true. Too. It's kind of sad when you think of it. Yeah. They're... You're like, oh, so why? Because you want to be like, this moment right now, a baby was just born. Nope. Nope. What's this? What's a basilic, a basilic thing? Ooh. Good day. You almost stabbed me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I need to look, look, look back on that. <sighs> this is clinical, guys. Like 12 hours it's of this. Feeling. Exactly. <laughs> Thumbnail pretty. <laughs> <laughs> We're both running on mm, three, three hours of sleep. Three hours of sleep. <laughs> Good night. It's like we didn't even get to sleep enough to be tired when we woke up, so it was kind of a vibe, but also not a vibe. Gotta take this flush. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog, Sydney. Huh? Say hi. To the wall? <laughs> to the vlog. To oh, the vlog. <laughs> to the wall. Like, oh. I put my eye drops in. <laughs> you just got that like everywhere. <laughs> Can you log in? I'm going to have another log in. Wait, I want to do it. I did it in my car once. <laughs> You got it on the wall, I got on the ceiling. The ceiling's wet. <laughs> the cabinet's wet. My jacket's wet. Your jacket's wet. Okay, I'm gonna stop procrastinating and go finish this. Did I hit your phone? No, I didn't. <laughs> <sighs> this is all I got, guys. This is, this is it. I did get to hang some IV meds though, so that was cool. Mm-hmm. I'm about to just throw an IV in my shop. It's gonna be you this weekend when you're hungover, it's fine. Pro about being a nurse. Get your own IV bags. Yeah, I really need to. I think I've drank already like two or three days this week. I'm about to drink like two more. Five out of seven. I've been having study beers. 
Yeah, it, it, it's it. nice. How we cope, we deserve it. We study better with. <laughs> exactly. I'm probably gonna go to the pool in the morning. Really? <laughs> and just like do whatever there, like Her before abuse? Violet's ready. Yeah. I'll be like bang playing. It's exciting. Y'all yeah, going to a concert tomorrow? I got a basketball game tomorrow. I'm gonna say I got a basketball game tomorrow. <laughs> I'm a point guard. I got a shoe game. <laughs> Oh, I miss that. I love Vine. Oh my god. Correct. Oh. Sorry. Oh, is that, is that the one? Okay, I'm gonna go be productive now and we'll try to wake up. We only have to be here until two and a half more hours. Pray for me and call. <laughs> yeah, I need it more. I don't know. I'm pretty tired. You're like <laughs> freaking jugulars I've ever heard. In my who? You're like jugulars. Actually, I think it's my lymph node. Ooh, feel that. Will you ask if Here? someone can come co sign blood with me? What the f? Can you? Okay. Yeah. That's my bone. This is my lymph node. Somewhere Where's right that here. Oh, I'm fighting okay, infection. Your is here. That's not your. Well, it kind of felt like it, but then I was like, oh no, that's just my lymph node, like way up here. Like a ball right now. Because I'm getting sick, but I'm also not getting sick. No, don't get sick. My body keeps trying to get sick, but then it won't get sick. So, so far we're okay. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm done. I'll talk to you guys later. Oh my God, that was nine minutes. again I just got coffee this morning it's a breakfast and I worked on my Quizlet and then I went to Sephora do you want to see what I got from Sephora oh my God. I got the old Hendrickson under eye stuff because it's supposed to like brighten it a lot and people I've just seen it so many times like everybody says that it works so well so I was like just try it because I like definitely have really bad hereditary under eye circles and then I got just like a brow Charlotte Tilbury like fill-in thing just because I need new brow stuff I haven't gotten new brow stuff in like forever my friend Kelsey got this it's the benefit cheek tint and it's just like literally a tint like it looks like oil almost and you just like put it on your cheeks and you can put it on your lips and it was so pretty and it just stayed so well like it's like a little stain moment so, and I've seen that for years, like, oh my god, since I was younger, but it's time to try it. Then I saw this on TikTok. It's the glow stick. It's sunscreen, correct? I'll show you the, like, after later, but I saw people, like, putting it on their collarbones and their shoulders because it's for sunburn. Like, it's still sunscreen, but it just looks like you're glistening. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. It looks like you're just, like, lathered up. Like, it's not sparkly. And then I did look, and it says you can put it on your cheeks and your nose, and I'm like, that's, like, natural highlighter right there, because I don't like the, like, shimmery, sparkly stuff, really. I think this would be so natural, especially because I go, like, bare-faced all the time. So, definitely I'll be giving you a review later. Like, I don't know if I already said this. I am getting sick. My dad... I think just has like a sinus infection and it's like all week I've been fighting it like I think it was Monday or Tuesday uh -oh. oh it's from a smoothie I was like um Tuesday I woke up and my head hurt so bad I was exhausted didn't feel well and then the next day I was fine and then the day after that same thing it was like a headache up here I can kind of feel it right now and then finally yesterday, I think was the day, my, like my lymph nodes have also been swollen all week, which is how I know I'm like having a response, like trying to fight it off. And now this side of my throat is super swollen. It doesn't hurt yet. It doesn't hurt to swallow. I'm not coughing or anything. And then also yesterday I was in the car and I literally thought I was going to vomit. Like I thought I was going to have to get Cam to pull over and like, let me just vomit everywhere. I was like, oh no. So then... 
after I went to Sephora, I went got I wanted to go get some juice, and I was like, there's something. I'm sure that's like an immunity booster. So I got this like, um, I forgot what it was called. Like stop stuffy nose shot, just because I know it's like in this region, and it's I don't even know what's in it to be honest. Um, but just a little shot, and then I got a smoothie, and I added turmeric to it, and I know it had like lemon and ginger as well which I know is going to be really good for me and then I also got a juice because I was like if I don't drink it today I can drink it tomorrow and this one has carrot apples pineapple mint ginger and lemon so and somebody said that they really liked this one I was going to go ahead and try it I'm in the Walgreens freaking drive through waiting on my prescription not for my sickness unfortunately but I might I'm scared that it's a bacterial infection because I don't want to have to get antibiotics but Ooh, that's really nice. I like that. Ooh, yeah. I love juice. Oh my gosh. If I still lived near a juice place, this whole summer I would have been getting juice like every day. It just feels so nice to drink. And then let's try this smoothie. I'm scared it's going to taste bad because of the turmeric, but like I'd rather it help me than taste good, you know? still pretty good sorry I wanted to keep drinking it's really good I like it um, now I'm gonna my prescription I'll update you guys later I would not be surprised if I got a low 70 on that because I just felt like I missed so many questions and like I did what I normally do I don't I try not to sit there and second guess anything I just was trying to go like just go with your gut like whatever like I tried to let myself think about it if I needed to but there's some like if you don't know you just don't know like you just have to make your best guess and move on so that's what we did um but I did get a 92 on the first one so like I can afford to make a low-ish grade, but um, hopefully it's just not too bad, but I definitely don't feel great about it, and, yeah, and it's just discouraging, especially when it's something like you want to do, but at the same time, it tests like this really don't speak to if you're going to be a good nurse or not, like not always, like just because you didn't get like a 85 or a 92 doesn't mean that you're stupid or that you can't be a good nurse, so yeah, right now I'm just in traffic. Um, yeah, I'm just like, I get frustrated. 
frustrated with our program sometimes um, for a lot of different reasons. And I'm sure y'all can relate if you're also in nursing school. I feel like it's just sadly a thing that we all deal with. That there's stupid rules and things that they care about are just insane. Like it's really sad when you're more stressed out about being late or missing something, really just being late, than you are like the test, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. It's just really frustrating. Um, so I'm just feeling extra stressed right now. Like I'm just upset. Like just with frustrated with how things go, I guess. But part of it sadly can't always be easy but um but yeah I also like this weekend man like it things just happen like don't try not to be too hard on yourself when you're like you just make a mistake or you feel like you're struggling like we all struggle it's just a part of it I literally accidentally didn't turn in my care plan at all and my school is very much like if it's late, it, it's a zero. And I flipped. I was like, oh my gosh, I like I don't know how I did that. I just straight up forgot about it for like a day. Cause it's usually due 48 hours after the clinical, but for some reason now it's due 24 hours after the clinical. So it was due Saturday night. And of course I went out Saturday night. So like, that's probably why. But um, I was studying all day. Definitely had time like to do it. And I just forgot about it. Um, yeah and I mean I've been sick like this past week just like not feeling great I've been nauseous all the time I was like definitely having like my lymph nodes are still swollen like I was finding some kind of sinus infection but it never thankfully got like too bad to where I was like actually sick but ugh, I've just been nauseous a lot too like just not feeling the greatest but um Yeah, but anyway, about the care plan, it's it's fine. We only had to do three, and for our last clinical, we weren't going to do one. Like, my instructor wasn't going to have us do one since it was the last day, and so I just texted her. I was like, hey, I know that they're not going to take it if I turn it in late. Are you okay with me just doing a care plan on our last clinical so I would still have two more to do because I've already done one, and she was like, oh, yeah, that's fine. Like, thanks for letting me know. I was like, thank you so much. Everything's fine, thankfully, but if, like, my, say I, for whatever reason, didn't do a care plan last time, then I would be screwed. Like, as in, failed the class because of a care plan screwed, just for it being late. Um, yeah. It's, it's, it's rough out here, it's rough out here. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that I'm having a really shitty day. Honestly, I think this is where I made me the vlog too. I think next vlog is just going to be study, study with me vibes this weekend. I'm going to try to just show you guys our process and like, because I have a little bit more time to study this week too. Like I only have like one observation clinical on Wednesday and a virtual clinical on Thursday and then my normal adult health on Friday, which sounds like a lot now that I say it, but it could be worse. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take you guys along with how I study for adult health and Hopefully I'll get to show you guys some good stuff. I'm going to make a video like on how I take my notes and everything. I just want to make sure that it's quality. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, but thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, thank you. I know it's not fun always watching me sit here in my car every day and talk to you, but I enjoy it. And I am so grateful for every single one of you that watch and that comment. It literally makes my day. I just like sharing my experience, even though it's not that pretty sometimes. My phone might fall off the thing. But yeah, um, I hope you are having a great, beautiful, wonderful, blessed day. And know that however it's going, you're gonna get through it. It's gonna be okay. And I love you guys so much.